This is what 3D printing of living tissue looks like. Bio inks made of living cells are used to print a thyroid gland. This Russian company was the first to successfully transplant one into a mouse. The next step is to do the same for humans. So this is like living material over there. Yeah, actually we use collagen for that. More than 600 million people suffer from thyroid disorders and there's a long waiting list for transplants. Printing human organs is considered a game changer in healthcare because it could save many lives. To be able to print complex tissues that are more similar to those in human bodies, scientists say they need to send a 3D printer to space. In the case of uh, space technology, we use a so-called formative technology. It looks like uh, making a snowball. When you're making a snowball, you make snowball not layer by layer actually, but from different sides. And that, that looks like an, uh, um, true 3D technology. Uh, so that's uh, different technologies. Uh, and for this type of technology, we need to have a microgravity. But the first attempt to send a printer to the International Space Station failed in October, when a Soyuz spacecraft crashed shortly after launch. I thought that moment, oh, we need to do that one more time. <laughs> the printer and many hours of work were lost, but it's hoped there'll be another opportunity soon. Engineers had only one month to build this new 3D bioprinter after the first one was destroyed in a recent Soyuz rocket failure. If the next launch succeeds, it could be a breakthrough in printing human organs, a revolutionary technique that could save many lives, but also raises major ethical questions. For example, the potential to create superhumans who can renew and even enhance their organs and live to a very old age. And safety concerns if organs can be printed by anyone without medical expertise. And how to regulate this if it's done in space? This is a very interesting question. And I think in outer space, it's very difficult to to claim jurisdiction over activities in outer space. And especially, I think this kind of experimental use, they will claim uh, uh, research exceptions. And so I would say um, it's now still in blue sky and uh, scientists can do whatever they like at the moment. A recent study by the European Parliament concluded that 3D bioprinting techniques face such deep technical and regulatory barriers that they might never happen. The Russian company is more optimistic. The co-founder predicts that in 10 years' time, the first printed organs will be successfully transplanted into humans. Stepfasen, Al Jazeera, Moscow.